Everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anybody out there? Oh, Andrew, what? Stop. Androbot, stop. I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. Oh, maybe. Arty, default position. What's wrong with you, buddy? But you clearly don't want to cooperate. Is everything all right? Doctor, please wake up. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Hello, anyone there? I repeat, Crowter is in a serious condition. Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know him. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. I'm glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowter in the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I... I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowter, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils oh. respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Akinesia, mutism, impoverishment of mimic movements, and reaction to stimuli. These are all symptoms of stupor, but it's difficult to pinpoint the cause. 
cause of this disorder. We need to quickly perform a complete set of tests, primarily a CT scan of his brain. Otherwise, I won't be able to say anything more. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lando. We need to get you all on board. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. AZ-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector, to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowter had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. It. Please make sure it works. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. All right. Now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowter. I have everything I need. Just... Fascinating. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice, best. Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Ah. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit.
I have got good news and bad news. The bad news is our signal is far too weak to restart the Andrew bot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried, but I've seen a spare. That's the good news? Yeah, precisely. I'm going back for it. Extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. Very good. I'm connected. Like anything I've ever seen. As if, I don't know, as if an electron bomb had wanted all that. Is it going to work? We'll see. I've rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Oof. I don't know if the Andrew bot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes, unfortunately. <sighs> the positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Mm. <gasps> it worked. He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. Well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Please check his legs. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, tin bastard. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go get the rest while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Finally, it works. Crowter, five meters. Careful. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source, to find some end. And? Did he? That, I don't know. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Someone. 
I'm following the signal. Something on the ground. It's a journal. Geological cross section, measurements. Here's a Merritt's notes. She must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. I think I know where I can find her. The signal's coming from the castle's backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. Marit. Right. 